The eastern newt is unique in New England in that it's our only newt species. Newts are actually a type of salamander, but they're a type of salamander with bumpy, cornified skin, and it's a species that does not have vertical grooves along the sides called costal grooves. Newts have an unusual life cycle in that they are born in the water, then in late summer they um, metamorphose from their larval stage, leave the beaver ponds, go out onto the land in a bright reddish orange coloration with red spots outlined in black. And then as they mature, anywhere from a few years up to maybe eight years later, they change color, turn green, keep those red spots, the belly changes to a, a bright yellow with black spots, not unlike the look of a banana, and they stay in the water and become totally aquatic. Though, interestingly enough, were that pond to dry up, those aquatic newts can still survive and leave that pond and go back to a more terrestrial stage. This tail is typical of a female's tail. This tail, this is far narrower, more rounded, it's flatter. Tail, higher tail. Typical of a male's tail. And of course, when they're young, you can't tell the difference. When any amphibian gets a little sticky in your hand, they're getting dry. When they get dry, they could have trouble breathing because they breathe through their skin, through that wet skin. And so we've got to let these two guys go. A nice example of a male and a female. They're much larger than the two-lined or the four-toed salamanders with a heavier body. Um, about the same size, let's say, as a dusky salamander. Their habitat is unique in that it is always changing as they mature. So we're starting with a permanent body of water, then we're traveling around through woodlands, and then we're returning to some permanent body of water again, but it's often not the same permanent body of water. It's often a different body of water. So they need a mosaic of interconnected uplands and wetlands in order to survive. So the conservation concern is maintaining large, unfragmented mosaics of uplands and wetlands.